Please, I think you should take a close look at the title of this video, Turned Water into Wine, Live in Church Program. If you don't believe, you are Antichrist. Please, you have to tell me in the comment section after you watch this video, who is the Antichrist? Being real George, whom you have been following, even though some of you are gullible up till now, or this man who claims to be a prophet, a Belen Nachuku, is the Antichrist. And I'm going to go deeper into what I've been talking about all these years. But for those of you who don't know him, I mean, so this year is a year of miracles. Get a holy vibe. It's not touching any annoyance. Today, finally, we have the assistant Jesus in Nigeria, the one that commands and speaks in the authority of Jesus. I thought I would not find him. Now we have found him. Relax. I'm going to introduce him to you formally. If you want to watch that video, I will link it in the description section. So if you want to watch it, for those who are still new or who are new to my space, go back and watch this video you see on your screen because I made it as at March this year so i came across this video it happened about four years ago all right i told you people on facebook i was going to work on it okay now i came across it by mistake we know based on scripture that jesus turned water into wine not as if he came there to come and turn water in fact that was actually his first miracle do you understand so i came across this pastor we have made a video about him before, and I used to tell you people this, please, my wonderful audience, if you have been watching me for over the years, I don't mean other ones that still don't have brain up till now, the ones that are open-minded to understand things I discuss. You can get into a church and you can have majority of the people in that church tied to the game and the gimmicks of the pastor more of like it's a planned setup situation. That's why sometimes I'm not surprised that I will you will go to a church and some people are falling without you even touching them to validate that there is something going on with the person that is a man of God. But in reality, nothing is really going on. There's nothing spiritual happening. All those euphoria you see right there is all staged. And this video is going to prove that to you. Please. Have an open mind and listen to what I'm about to say. Now, as you are looking at the video playing on your screen right now, I'm going to play for you the main important part. You can see a congregation right there in church. The pastor is the one wearing the suit, red. This is somewhere in Nigeria. So you could see a live congregation right there. It appears so real. And that's the one goal of deception. This video right now, even though it was done four years ago, the person is still around right now, still running a ministry. My last video about him was, you need to watch the last video I made about him this, this year as well, yeah. So with that congregation you see right there, all of those people you see right there, they're all, they're all part of his own plan. So he comes to church and then he's talking about the whole idea that, oh, he's under, he, he's feeling a spirit right now, he wants to perform a miracle. <laughs> Get 
drink wine today? Can you drink wine today? Do you want to drink wine? Yes. yes. Do, you, do you want to drink wine today? Yes. Do you want to drink wine? Yes. yes. Do you want to drink wine? Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. 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 Jesus is the Lord. If Jesus is the Lord, I am hot by my faith. If Jesus is the Lord, let this let go water. Let go water. Don't to wine. Don't to wine. Don't to wine. Don't to wine. With all those people there, women and children, all of these things planned. Maybe he told them he was he was shooting a skit, maybe. I guess he told them he was cheating a skit, not like he's, you know, he's doing something like quote and unquote for God. Let me, I'm guiding you through the story right now. So he tells, he tells them to bring a basin and then for them to bring, you know, water, table water in, you know, bottle water. Then he turns, he turns the water into the basin, then kneels down to do whatever he's doing, saying, as if he's praying. Look at, you see, these people, they make, George, keep quiet, just guide them along the video okay so he kneels down there and then does what he claims he's doing now i want you to watch the focal point right now because you want to see water being turned to white Let me explain for you right now the videography of what is going on right now, okay? The transition of that particular video is where he got exposed, but his mindset was to sing along, to have a music being sung along, so that the music doesn't interrupt, and while you are listening to the music, you don't get to see what happened on the video. But since it's a video, I want you to watch the video yourself. While he was about to do his miracle of turning the water into wine, his hands was like this. But when the water turned into wine, the position of his hands changed to like this. Now I'm going to play that on repeat for you to watch it at least five times and see what I'm talking about right now. Does that make sense to you? Now, aside the fact that he was trying to trick the viewers, because this video is not for those who are there. This video is for you and I who are the online in-laws, online watchers, online gullible praise and worship people that defend what they don't know. Because I will still see some people defending in the comments. What I find very disgusting is that he puts his hand into this supposed wine, drinks directly from it, even as it dips from his mouth back into this basin of wine and other people still come to drink from it with cup what is your thought somebody clap for jesus christ Jesus. <laughs> As this woman heard Odogu, the way she's just looking at who is that person saying Odogu, her face alone has sold out that this is just a pure scam. I mean, the woman here on the native up and down with the green. Yeah, the woman on the green native here. But let's continue. <laughs> Get me call. Let's eat. 
This one now, this man, the one with the with the white t-shirt right here. I don't mean the one that drank the the, the wine. This one, he's a main man. He's the engineer behind everything. So he's just looking at like, ah, God, hey, all oh, this one for camera, because he worked closely with him actually in the whole ministry stuff. So they're together in this, and I'm not surprised right here. But I hope you are understanding. If you don't understand what you're watching by this time, I'm sorry, this place is not for you. Shut up to everybody. Go back to your seat. You will have your own. Now, I must say they really tried because you could see right here, this is even a, a, a clear sellout. This tripod you see right here, for you to perform this trick well, you have to make sure you stay in a, the exact same position. That's why it was easy for me to just see that this was a scam. All right, you have to stay in the exact same position so that the change would be done before you continue recording so what happened was that he didn't keep his hand the same way number one number two if you look at his suit when he was when the trick was done his suit changed so he wasn't one place when they changed the the content of the basin okay but this tripod right here is to keep the camera steady because the camera is meant to be steady and you are also meant to be steady so that the audience would not know what happened but him is afojuru he was not steady himself, okay? The tripod did his job, so we don't have to blame the tripod right here. But he was not steady to make it perfect such that people would not know that it was just a camera trick, okay? Somebody celebrate Jesus Christ. So if you understand that right now, that was just a simple trick he played. But what I find more interesting is not even about the trick he played because that, that video was meant for social media. It was not meant for those that are there. But it's just how he's able to gang up these people, old and old and children, and, and they are all there part of this particular gimmick for social media. Believe everything on social media at your own peril, at your own risk. You see, that is him right there trying to validate himself. Even Jesus himself, it's not as if he wanted to even... His mother was the one that pushed him to. Not as if he went there to go and perform a miracle or something. But this is someone right now, because they know you know the scripture, they want to use what you know to get your attention and then what else are you going to be thinking right now oh jesus is walking through this one oh maybe you might even see him as jesus but the funny thing is that after that with the camera he's saying oh yeah all of you come and taste come and taste and all those people are there willingly being part of this game for social media and i'm just wondering to myself ah christianity and this person still has a church last time was him telling people to put one 1,000 naira in envelope for them to for, for him to pray and then bring candle and all those nonsense you see happening. But the thing is that these people might not be the ones that are the ones that can speak Queen's English, the ones that you know, the popular ones that you know that we talk about right here. These are the ones that are in those local areas, villages, you know, townships there and are perfecting their craft of Charlatanism. And this is someone that people call Papa. That is what is just that is what is even confusing me. 
Because all those people right there, you see the, the congregation right there, they know what happened. They know that that particular basin was changed, the content was changed, and then placed with what had wine. And it looked as if it was magic. They could have just added a soundtrack. Chill! Just like when uh, 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 Jeremiah Motivufin was doing the whole key thing. If not for the fact that social media added volume to it and it was everywhere, who knows what, what people will be believing that, that keys fell from the sky. What is, what, is, what is this Nollywood going on inside church today? You see, right now, let me, I'm just telling you my wonderful pastors watching me because I know many of you watch me. In this era we are right now, you see, with social media right now, don't put out this nonsense you do in your churches on social media because you will see them and we will talk about them. You see, do you know why we talk about them? It's because we care about the body of Christ. Not because we care about whatever fame you want to have for yourself or whatever gullible masses you want to have. You can do those things. Don't put it on camera. Do it and just let it be in your church for your people there. Why did he do it having this? Why did, he, why did he have to post it on social media? Because you want to get attention to yourself. But you are faking to get at, What nonsense. What nonsense is that? But they, that's why you see, when you go to some of these prophetic churches and this and this, some of those people you see there, those of you that did not watch the video I posted of Joshua Sermon because right now, all of you, all the things he was saying in that video, I'll look at them one by one later. All the things he was saying in that video are things I have been saying myself for how many years now? Those that will come and be giving fake testimonies, they don't even know where they come from. Think, my dear wonderful people. Think. I'm just, I was shocked to myself, like, to stage this kind of thing with real people. If he was doing it without anybody that would say you, that's why, that's why some of these things right there, even the members, the, those themselves that are part of the miracle, that are all together. Look at the one I did about the person of Nana Poku, who was commanding miracle money. The video, I'm going to link them in the pinned comments. He was, he was making money appear in bag mysteriously. I can look at it from the camera and see the trick right there. Can you see it if you watch it? And when I come and sit down here and show you all of these fields and nonsense happening in church, I'll see some gullible people come in the comment and tell me, touch not anointed, why are you exposing the church? See, let me tell you, let me tell you right now, if you, have, you, if you have decided to follow me on this platform, okay, I deal with the controversies, the ills, majority of what is happening in the body of Christ. Do you understand? So if you decide to follow me, you are following me on your own. So whatever you followed me for is what you are going to be seeing. See that reason? You see that reason why you followed me that time? <laughs> that reason you followed me is what you are going to see more. <laughs> because if I, if I don't post the reason that made you to follow me, you will not still be here watching me. No be so. It's pure one plus one, two. When I show you these things, it's for you to open your brain. So that tomorrow, if you find yourself in one particular church and you see some things happening strange, you'll be like, ah! Ah, kunja, kunja. There are all these things is plan work. So you can be in a congregation and 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 especially those who are sitting in front, that small thing, they don't fall, small thing. They might just be part of the whole thing. Later we'll go to another one, the one that turned water into granite oil. We have I've seen many things right here on social media and I just laugh. I say God. Elijah!